Checklist interactions are a great way to list out materials, products, ingredients, action items, and more. And they're also super easy to create an Articulate storyline. Let's take a look. First thing I want to do is just create the text items, the text buttons that we'll use for, for our checklist. And a shortcut for laying down some text is Control T. And that brings up a uh, text insert box. So tech checklist item one. And I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. With that selected, I'm actually going to jump into the states and choose edit states. I'm actually going to put the little checkbox inside of the text item. And I'll show you why I'm doing that um, when I start duplicating these items. So uh, right quick, right, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and add a, just a little square graphic that's a used for our checklist. Seem a little big. It might be a little big, but it, it's it's fine for the movie. So my first state is just a checkbox and the checklist text. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this so I have both. I'll add in hover state and maybe just something subtle here, just change the outline to something darker. And I'm going to add a visited state just so we can show a permanent check mark, mark inside of this box. To do that, I have actually have an image that I, I like to use. So I'm just going to go insert that real quick. So insert picture. Okay, select my check mark and just click open. And of course, you, know, you can use whatever you want to use for this. I just happen to be really fond of this little green check mark. I take it everywhere I go. And at this point, I sort of have my initial states here for the button. Maybe I want to move that down just a hinchy pinch. All right, so done editing. And that's really my first item. So I'm just going to zoom out here. One item, and I'm going to go ahead now and just create a new slide layer and use this to add some content. So I'll say this is my checklist layer one. And then here, right, I can put some heading text and however else I want to you know, set this up. So this would be some body text, right? So this would be your content. If you have any images, anything in here you want, right? Maybe there's a photo or a character that you want to add. Just grab one real quick. And then depending on how it is, right, you might want to need to resize it. So I'm just putting all this stuff down here for just really quick placeholders. Obviously, I'd probably want to align my text and get that all set up. But the idea is just to sort of set this up as a starting point. And then from there, you can um, you know, build out your, uh, your slides for each of the check boxes. OK, so this will work for here, right? It's just something simple. Come back down to my base layer. And I want to add a trigger because in Storyline, right, nothing happens without a trigger. So come over here to the triggers. Way the triggers work, you want to say, what is it you want to do? Well, I want to show a layer. I'll show this layer. And when do I want it to happen? Or when do I want to do it? When user clicks text box one. And that's really it at this point. What you'd keep on doing is duplicating. So you might press Control, Control D to make a new version. And remember earlier when I said I liked working with the text first and then placing the shape inside? Here's why. Change this from text checklist one to checklist two. And that updates for all the states. So just a really fast way to work with um, text and buttons images if you're going to uh, make a lot of changes. So this checklist two doesn't go to the same layer, right? We'd want to duplicate that and call this one checklist layer two. And maybe we'd, we'd change out the picture here real quick. So change picture, grab a new one, and then make those changes as you need to, right, for whatever that copy is. Return to the base layer, and we need to update Need to update our trigger, right? Because right now they're both going to checklist layer one. I'm going to take the uh, second one and then change that to layer two. And now we have a good foundation for a checklist interaction in Articulate Storyline.